for me, it's important that there's fiscal responsibility and that we get the most out of every dollar spent. I manage this company like it's my own money and that it's, this is my dollar leaving and I want to make sure that every single penny is accounted for and that it's effectively spent. Working so closely with the Earth Labs team who are a major investor in KLDC, uh, you know, Denise, CJ, Matt, and they provide uh, really good feedback, really good information to help guide, you know, what we're working on. It's been a it's been a good week. The boys are I don't know what it is with these geologists. They they are they're hunters. They're outdoorsmen. They like hiking. If you ask any geologist what's their favorite pastime, it's hiking. They all like hiking. Um, anyways, these guys are hunters, and so it is the season. Mike was doing moose hunting two weeks ago, and this week he's got deer hunting. Um, Drake's out deer hunting now. He went back home to the Sioux. Apparently at a camp with like 27 other guys. I can't see anything could possibly go wrong. Nobody will be drinking. And since I'm going to be taking realistically 24 hours of their days, uh, you know, in the next few weeks, then they got to get this time in now. Uh, before Drake left, he had an update with um, Stephen Cook, who's a geochemist. Um, they're all set to go. We're just waiting on those results back from the soils. They go in in batches. So you send in 500 soil samples at a time. And so the first batch is sitting at 99% completion. The second batch is sitting at 98% completion. And the third batch is sitting at 0% completion. So they're moving along. We expect hopefully by the end of next week or the week after, they'll all be at 100%. And that's when Steve can start to run that full geochemistry analysis on exactly what's going on. What we did is we took a quaternary geology map, which basically tells you what's going on at the surface. So if there's a lot of overburden, if there's swamp, if there's bedrock, and then created a initial plan from that. Just to run through that process, what they do is they create lines. And these parallel lines are spaced at 50 to 200 meters, depending on the the, the spacing, depending on where it is. And then every 30 meters, they're taking a sample and they travel along on these nice straight lines to take these soil samples. So they dig down to the B horizon, dig, 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 stomp, stomp, stomp. And then they take a bag of sand and they hang it to dry um, to get any of the water that's in there out. And then what we do is we put those into buckets and we send them to uh, a lab for analysis. When we get those, those samples back, we can plot them and determine exactly what's going on. And so that's actually one of the things that we're most excited about and the reason why we extended that soil grid down was because our previous samples clustered together with zinc, copper, lead, gold, all the things that would be attached to a VMS type of deposit. And then it was also in um, proximity to an intrusion. And so all of a sudden it opened up this big area of opportunity. The, the other patterns will point to ideally the same thing. So if we have our soils that align and we have our EM conductivity align, then those are, are multiple things pointing to the same direction that, that create uh, an area of focus. When we're looking at the analysis of the EM data, what we can see sometimes is, is the depth. And so from that, we can determine, is this just a, a surface test or is this something we wanna get a little bit deeper on? Um, so that's the, the major update there. I met with uh, Beaver House First Nation this morning, who's one of our First Nation partners. Um, they're instrumental in, in helping out with the drill program. They have a joint venture with the drill company that we're using. Um, so all of those things are, are signed, ready to go. We're, we're really, we're just looking forward to that. The, the, there's a lot of things that have been in the works for the last few weeks. And now it's kind of the calm before the storm, letting the drill team mobilize all of their stuff and people to the to the site, um, which a lot of their guys, I'm sure, are hunting as well. And so it's getting all those people together that we can you know, do a nice, fast, efficient program uh, starting on the 18th. The other big thing this week was the board passed the resolution to remove the interim title and make me full time CEO, which I'm both humbled and excited about doing. When I was asked to be the interim CEO, uh, there was discussion at the time whether it was to go into a full-time role or if it was the interim role. And 
I, I basically said at that point in time, like, I'm not, I'm not hundred percent sure what this role is going to entail. I don't know if I'm going to be ready for this. Let, let's make it an interim role. And if it doesn't work out, then there's no, no harm done. And I'd always questioned if I had the skill sets to be able to do, you know, management in, in this space. 2020 was the, my changing year, uh, up to that point in time, I had been in management with large companies, had done teaching, uh, a lot of public speaking, started my own business. For me, I wanted to get into this, this industry because it was something that I was interested in. You know, having been an investor in the junior mining space for the past 20 years, I, I had always loved the idea of the treasure hunt and the, you know, finding gold uh, and the, the aspects that go along with that. So it's not something that's been new to me, but as an industry that I've been working in, it was new. And the more work that I'm doing, the more I'm learning. All of those skills are transferable, you know, working with a large company and corporate culture and understanding health and safety and HR and all those other things, building a strong team leadership and motivation those things are the same it doesn't matter the industry the last six months have really taught me that I, i'm more than ready for this and, and the the skills that i developed over the, the past 20 years of working with leading big teams in management and you know having the entrepreneurial aspect of starting my own business and all the skills that are involved in that like it really has set me up for success here on top of my previous experience managing teams having that business experience through running my own business. I got my honorary bachelor's degree through working with Goldspot and working with that team of PhDs and brilliant minds, machine learning, geochemistry, geophysics, structural geology. I wasn't afraid to ask questions because I, I knew this was a new industry for me and I knew that I didn't know as much as they did. So it was really easy to learn from them. And over the few years that we worked together, I learned so much to have a better understanding of exactly, you know, what the process is for exploration and discovery. Th that's helped me to be more prepared for the role that I'm in today. Being a leader, I, I know I don't need to know everything, um, but what I do need to do is surround me with people who know more than me. And that's certainly the case with the team that we've assembled. They're helping to guide this and, and move us towards discovery. I work with them, I manage the business aspects of it, I ensure that there's enough money to do those things, but those guys are doing the hard work of, of unpicking this geological story. My role is to empower them, right? I'm not here to get in the way and tell them what to do, it's to ask them questions, to get an understanding that they're doing the best steps and the best process to get to that discovery. Because um, without a discovery, you know, we'll, we'll never be at that level that I want this company to be. One of the other aspects of the experience that I've had was working with the team at Earth Labs, and they're, they're obviously a major investor in our company, but CJ, Denis, and, and Matt all have really extensive careers in the industry. So being able to, to spitball with them and talk to them about things on a daily basis that might be coming up, it's, it's an invaluable tool, and it's just something that uh, really sets us apart and having them as an investor is a, a very strong push in the right direction. I think that sums up the week that we've had. It's been an exciting one again. Um, thanks again for joining us. I, I'm so excited for next week and the week after where I get out into the field with Drake and Mike and get to see them in their, their true element and uh, see that drill in motion. So uh, thanks again and, and we'll see you next week.